All right, we got a Mortal Hulk number nine. And uh, by the way, it's Thanksgiving. So if you're watching this on Thanksgiving, I hope you and your family uh, have a good holiday. And if you're watching this after Thanksgiving, I hope it was good. So also, I hope everyone stayed in with their family. I hate this, like, so they move Black Friday to Thursday, really. <laughs> like, uh, you know, it's just... I wish people would just spend time with their families instead of going to spend, you know, but they want to go save five bucks on something. It's not worth it. Not worth it. But anyway, I want to do a review on this. Uh, so this one is good, but it's uh, a little short. Not the strongest issue of Mortal Hulk yet. It's not bad, but it's not the best. There's still some good stuff that happens in it. Like seriously, every issue is like something crazy happens in it, and this book does not disappoint there. Uh, I would say if I'm going to like give it a quick number for those that don't want spoilers, I would say everything's good. I give it a, a 3 out of 5, just so you know how things work. A 1 is trash, 2 is bad, 3 is good, 4 is great, 5 is a masterpiece. And I give this a 3. Because it's, it's good, you know, but it's just not quite great. Not like the last two issues where they literally <laughs> cut him up and put him in jars and stuff. <laughs> that was amazing. But this still has something going on. They have this weird plot hole with his dad. Get it. Once again, we start off the book with these really cool quotes. I love how that's done. And I always have to point out, it sucks that uh, Al Ewing is a jerk and blocks people because I think he's a very good writer. It's a shame. That stuff doesn't really seem to just bother me anymore. I don't know. It used to, but it's like, whatever. If you want to just not sell more books, I've noticed that your book is like falling down in sales, Al, which is a shame because it's really good. I mean, I feel like if you would just, you know, were cool with fans and not a jerk, they would maybe be up an extra 5,000 issues which would keep you well above cancellation. You're like teetering down there, man, every issue now. And uh, this ain't Spider-Man, bro. As big as the book, as good as the book is, this ain't Spider-Man. So um, if you want it's the route you want to go, man, I guess that's uh, you. You're picking your own grave, right? Oh, well. So this is the absorbing man, and I always I admit I don't really read Hulk. I never have, other than World War Hulk and Planet Hulk, which were really good. I've never like read ongoing Hulk, so I'm not too familiar. I know like absorbing man is more of a something with him. So you know I, I don't follow everything. <laughs> I can't remember everything, so I forget some stuff sometimes for sure, but. I can say, like, for this book, if you're new to these reviews that I do on this on this Immortal Hulk book, I've said it a million times. I've never been a big, like, solo Hulk fan, but this book has been amazing. It, it feels like a horror book. Even, like, the last issue where he fought the Avengers, which was, like, three issues ago, like, it still had, like, horror feels and elements to it, which was awesome. And you still get it here. It's just, I just, I'm amazed by how this book works. Once again, like Bruce Banner has never died so many times in the past nine issues. He gets killed again right here. He's almost like Kenny from South Park at this point. He was uh, stealing clothes off of this hang line in this guy. <laughs> Think you can just steal off my washing line, huh? Self-defense laws on my side, meth head. And then you got the Hulk talking to him. Just remember this is what happens, Bono. I'm sorry. Yeah, you are. You, you damn. And then he turns into the Hulk. Because every time he dies, if you've been reading this, he becomes the Hulk. Always at night. But, like, he can literally be laying there dead. And nighttime comes and he becomes the Hulk. Which I think is pretty cool. I also like that the Hulk only pops up at night. He never comes out during the day. It's, it's like... Uh, you know, before it was, and they haven't really talked about this. It used to be a banner. You know, he gets 
he gets angry, he'd turn into the Hulk no matter what. So if he gets angry during the day, does he not become the Hulk? Is that how this works now? So he just comes out at night? And uh, when they're sleeping, like, does he technically still sleep? There's just a, so some weird questions. Because the Hulk turned into Bruce Banner during the day in the last issue. So I'm guessing that's how it works. But it's still, it still hasn't been established yet. Really kind of ironed out. That's one of the things with it. So I'd like to see that kind of talked about. But basically, they're getting the Absorbing Man, and they, uh, they're going to change him. They're going to change him and make him so that he absorbs gamma quickly. And it's really cool how it happens. Like I said, I'm going to go into spoilers now. So these are like this is the real spoiler part of the video. So if you're not interested in those, you know, come back, and go get the uh, go get the book, whatever, and uh, come back for the rest of it. But this is the plot they're setting up. So I don't know too much about Bruce Banner and his dad, other than I guess his dad was abusive. But and I'm going to ask at the end of the video when we get there. But you see here, here's his dad still like looking at him. Like every time he looks into like a reflective surface, he keeps seeing his dad, which is pretty cool. And it adds to the the suspense and the thrill of the book, which is just groundbreakingly awesome. And we come over here, go back to the Zorbing Man. And they have a big fight. Hulk uh, says, you know, when I get angry... You know, he's been like, I'm control, but he's like, you know, he was starting to beat him down because every time he touches the absorbing man now, he starts like getting weaker and he's he's starting to get pissed. And he's like, you know, every time I get mad, I'm going to get, you know, stronger. But, you know, he can't do that because he absorbs so much of him. Look what happened to him. And this is really cool. You really got to give props to the artist here because he just, this is amazing, this whole scene, how this is set up. And this is, this is the thing that I don't know what's going on. And I could use some help if, see, this is why I'm asking about his dad. We see this scene, it cuts to the scene of the absorbing man in this uh, kind of hell. It says somewhere else. And this is from him absorbing all of the Hulk. Right. So I think we're getting there's something different about the Hulk now, the way he comes back and keeps dying. Like, And I'm thinking this is going to tie in to whatever this is with his dad and why he keeps coming back to life and why the Hulk is different now. I think this is going to tie into that because the solicits say Hulk in hell. So I'm wondering what's going to go on there with that. But what I don't know who or what this thing is. Is this his dad? Is it a demon? This can't be new, and I don't think it is. So if someone wants to let me know what's going on here in the comments, please do. Please do. But, and this is where it gets really cool. This is the last page. I don't, I'll show you anyway to hell with it. You see here, like literally that's what happened to the Absorbing Man. Really cool stuff. This is a great book. I uh, I can't recommend it enough. And if you were gonna just buy one Marvel comic, this if you can get over the blot blocking plotting, I know, <laughs> I know. But if you were gonna buy one book from Marvel, like this is the book to buy. I'm telling you, it's crazy how good this is. And uh, like I said, it just sucks that Al Ewing is uh, such a jerk because. Imagine if he was like cool to everybody and nice. Um, how much more the book could maybe possibly be selling? We really need that comic chemist guy to come back who ran numbers and could tell us, you know, what was going on. But anyway, uh, like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, this book, if you're reading it. Also, uh, check out my stream me, my Patreon. And hit the notifications bell. Share the video if you would. And as always, you know, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Uh.